You're in Kinshasa. You are in the thick of things. Are the reports true that there's intimidation, there's violence, there are irregularities? Uh, good day, ma'am. Uh, I think um, uh, I'm hearing for the first time. Sure, uh, there's a big challenge uh, for our election because of the logistics. Uh, but uh, so far, um, everything is going uh, okay. Uh, we did have a little bit of rain this morning for two hours. Uh, but um, polling stations uh, have been jumped by people, mm -hmm. uh, the Congolese people, they would like to vote, they would like to express their, their votes, their voting rights. Uh, so uh, we, we have, six, uh, mm -hmm. for your information, we have 64 polling stations. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a big, uh, huge uh, right. challenge in terms of logistics. Uh, but so far, everything is going well. What do investors feel? Because obviously, if anything goes wrong with these elections, it just adds another dimension of uncertainty about a country that's had so many problems. Yeah, sure. Of, of course, uh, the, the investors uh, would like to, uh, to to come to DRC, or those who are already in DRC would like to, to stay in DRC. Uh, they would like to, 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 have, to have a peaceful country, uh, a country where they can invest and get a uh, uh, return from the investment. And uh, for that, I think uh, we, uh, the government has started already uh, fighting to improve uh, the business climate. Uh, and uh, things are, are, going, are going well, slowly maybe, but they are mm -hmm. going well. And uh, we need to do more in the future to attract investors. Tell us about what government has done, because the World Bank rates the DRC at 175 in their rankings of doing business. So it's one of the worst performing economies in terms of setting up a proper infrastructure and conducive environment for investment. Let me just remind first, because uh, 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 since we started uh, tackling the, the investment climate, uh, we, we were at, uh, uh, at 187. Uh, we improved our, uh, with some of the legislation we took, we improved our ranking to, uh, by seven points, which we went down to 180. Uh, and uh, because of, uh, we, we still, uh, it's basically because of improvement of some of the African countries mm -hmm. uh, this year. Yes, we declined uh, of uh, three, we lost three points. Uh, but in overall, uh, we are still working on, the, um, mm -hmm. especially on investment climate and uh, to improve our business. Mm -hmm. a, a lot of legislation must be taken. Uh, to, uh, and that will be, mm. uh, fortunately, with the new government coming to place next year, we'll uh, quickly improve some of the legislation so that we can improve also our, our place in our ranking within right. the business community. Simon, who actually runs the country? Because people say the legitimate government operates in Kinshasa, but because of no infrastructure, it's difficult for them to extend authority in the east. So if you come in there and get a contract in Katanga, you'll be dealing with the governor. If you go up to Kivu, you'll be dealing with the governor. That the government of the day is not really in charge, and that makes it so difficult to know whether your contracts are enforceable. Uh, absolutely false. Uh, I mean, uh, you, you, the, investor, the investor will come to a DRC, they don't deal with governors, they deal with the central government. The first entry point in terms of business is the central government through uh, a, the, our, in, 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 uh, what you call ANAPI, which is our investment branch. Or if you, it's a mining investment, you deal with uh, the, the, the DRC, um, the Minister of Mines, through the mining cadastro where you can apply for your, uh, your concession and the things. So uh, you deal with the governor at a later point uh, in terms of you operating in the place where you are. So there's no such a thing that uh, you go into Kivu, you deal with uh, the governor of Kivu. Before going to Kivu, you need to apply uh, for your concession or mm -hmm. for your investment from the central government, and then you have, you, you'll be sent to the, each provinces to, to, to start your operation. The priorities for economic management after this election, we already know that obviously many people think of DRC, they think of mines. We know the mining economy is 11% of GDP. We know there's been a big push for infrastructure and construction. Where are the opportunities? Uh, the DRC is huge. The opportunities are, I would say, everywhere. 
uh, of course, we talk of, when you talk about the DRC, you talk about mines. Uh, there's still a lot of opportunities uh, in mine. Uh, but I'll, personally, in terms of private investment, I would say uh, the, in terms of agriculture, it's still open. In terms of energy, uh, for those who would like to invest uh, in hydropower, uh, this, uh, this sector is uh, really open. Uh, so, and other uh, agriculture, uh, I've, I've just mentioned it. Uh, so, uh, the opportunities are all everywhere in terms of uh, construction, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, even if um, uh, uh, building, uh, um, I mean, large malls or apartments or mm -hmm. any anyway. So. Uh, I cannot just say this is our opportunities. I think uh, we all the sector are uh, opportunities in the DRC, and that's where uh, right. I think uh, it, it makes it a duty for the DRC, for people who like to come and invest. And finally, Simon, obviously we're going to be awaiting the results, but the leading candidates in this election, what are they offering the country? What are they offering the people in terms of development, in terms of economic reconstruction, in terms of investment opportunities? What are they saying? Uh, sure, I cannot talk uh, for each and every candidate, uh, but uh, uh, so the most important for uh, for us as the Congolese is uh, is really to uh, to move forward. We have started uh, to to build our uh, to to build our country. First of all, uh, the peace is there. We have stabilized our economy. Now we we need to take off, and it's important that uh, whatever has been done so far need to be continued. Uh, you, 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 have, you just uh, when you introduce you talk about infrastructure. Infrastructure is so key to the development of, a, of mm -hmm. the country, and uh, we know uh, we are uh, we are in relation. I mean, with okay. with the help of the Chinese, uh, the loan we we, we 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 got from the Chinese was helping us to to build the roads. Uh, okay. And uh, le uh, fortunately, we'll also tackle the railway. Because uh, with that uh, infrastructure, you, we cannot develop the country. Okay. We cannot develop the DRC. For your information, the DRC is two and a half times South Africa. So without roads, without rails, it's impossible right. to, to really uh, develop the country.